Hola amigos and welcome back. I'm going to show you guys how to manipulate some CSS and add some special effects using jQuery in this tutorial. So let's get started. Oh, one thing um, I want to say before I start this, and it has nothing to do with jQuery, but I went back through some of my tutorials and I noticed that it was kind of annoying when I watch same tutorial over and over. Well, not the same tutorial, but the same series. And I kept saying things like, what's up, guys? Or what's up? Or, you know, the same thing over and over. So I'm going to try and be a little different when I start out the tutorials. That way, well, I guess it's more for me because it was kind of annoying. But maybe you guys thought the same thing. If not, well, whatever. So, alright. I'm going to start by adding in some CSS. Say style type is text CSS. Close that, and then I'm going to add a class to the anchor called test, and I'm going to give it a property of having some font weight of bold. There we go just like that. And you can see how, um, how Dreamweaver helps you out with CSS. It's really nice. So, if you are following this series, you have already completed the first tutorial. And so you have seen this code right here already. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the snippet from the last tutorial and I'm going to add in something called an add class call to the script so here is how we add a class to an anchor without having to actually go inside of the anchor and type in class so since we got a test, it is test. So this is sort of an alternative to doing things like this. Class equals test. So that's how you add a class in jQuery. I'm going to save that. I'm going to run it so we can go check it out. There we go. See, maybe you could tell that, uh, that it turned bold. And we can also remove a class using the remove class call, just like this. So whenever the document's ready, we add a class test to this anchor element. And as soon as we added it, we also removed it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again so you guys can see that what should happen is this bold should turn to regular type there we go and did exactly that the next thing I want to show you guys in this tutorial is um, in jQuery there is a lot of different effects um, that are very easily they're very easily added to the document object model using jQuery so I'm gonna get rid of what we just created there and I'm going to say actually I'm going to edit undo so we get back to the click call on the there we go so you can do the same thing you can edit undo if you've been following me and come back to this click call on the anchor and I'm going to leave the event dot preview default because what's going to happen is we're going to click on this jQuery text and we are going to make it go away by using the hide effect. So I'm going to say this dot hide and we're going to slowly hide it whoops just like that 
So what this is saying is it, it's saying this, which means this anchor method, since it's inside inside here, saying this dot hide slow. And this, if you uh, if you've been watching the Dreamweaver CS4 tutorials, this is going to look really similar to uh, some of the spry stuff that we were doing earlier. Um, some of the I think we had like a collapsible panel that we were checking out. And this this reminds me a lot of that. So you click on it, you see how that goes away whenever you click on it. I'm gonna reload and do it one more time. Whenever it's clicked, it just hides. So that's just one effect that is uh, available inside of jQuery. Let me go to jQuery and see if we can find uh, some other ones. If you noticed, um, I'm looking at Steve Nash's YouTube channel, and actually, Steve Nash is a pretty funny guy. You should check out his his YouTube channel if you have a chance. But I'm going to go to the jQuery documentation, and if you're going to start following these jQuery tutorials, this is a place where where you are going to want to spend a lot of time because there's a lot of really in-depth documentation on jQuery that really help you out um, and it's free and that's awesome because you can go here and you can look at all of this stuff but for now I'm just gonna click on effects and you can see like there is a lot of well not a lot I mean there's about 10 or 15 different effects but you can see that hide is one of them I'm gonna click on hide and you can see that here's the target dot hide and it should show us the different um, different ways that we can hide it, like slow or fast, but I don't see that, so I'm kind of kind of disappointed. But go through this. Oh, here it is. The strings fast and slow, right here, can be supplied, and you can actually give it uh, a time. It looks like, but um, this is sort of sort of uh, continuing an introduction to jQuery and uh, continuing an introduction to um, what we can do with jQuery so now you know how to get to the documentation and you've had a little more exposure to how to manipulate uh, how to add classes to anchors and to div tags later on uh, so hopefully uh, you your eyes have been opened up to a few more new things about jQuery and in the next tutorial I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna go over yet but I guarantee you you're gonna learn something new and it's gonna be awesome so keep watching and make sure you guys subscribe to the new Boston